All right, let's uh, give you a quick demo of how we use the Android app to enter a flight plan into the EFIS. Its uh, intent, of course, is to make this quick and easy, and uh, you take advantage of the touch screen, and we designed the app specifically for ease of use. So let's go ahead and we'll start with just uh, a direct two, and it's already guessing that we might want to go to Grand Rapids, KGRR. It's one of the nearest ones. It is the nearest one. And uh, it also suggests 121 nearest other possibilities ordered in, in distance. And we can scan through there and sure enough, Z98 is where I want to go. I select that. And what it, we have, did here is we added this into our current flight plan. Our current flight plan was Traverse City down to Grand Rapids here. We, while, th while that was active, we selected a direct two. That overrode it put the direct two on top with an end to, to stop it. It's in our pending flight plan, meaning it's not being used yet. The EFIS is unaware of it. I can review it, and if I like it, I can activate. And now the EFIS and the Android are both agreeing about where we're going. The Android app always gives you the option to review a pending flight plan or the active one. So, so suppose here's my active flight plan and uh, I've decided no I really don't need the end in there I want to go Z98 to TVC let's get rid of this end as soon as I begin to edit this you see it switched over to the pending flight plan the previously pending flight plan has been saved so you can come back to it if you were working on another flight plan while you're en route but this gives you a chance to review your edits, make sure it's what you wish to do, and when you're satisfied, activate, and now the EFIS is aware of it, and here you can say it's now the EFIS's flight plan. Very simple, and makes it very easy to use.